How's it going guys? It's Revelations and today we're back with another Revelations Reviews. Today we're going to be playing Moonbase. Not Moonbase, but Moonbase. You'll see the title in a second when I move my face down. But what this game is, is a base building game where you're a cat out in space. And honestly, I don't know a ton about it. It has amazing reviews, very positive reviews on Steam. 9 out of 10, you can go buy the game right now for $5.99. I'll leave the description link. I will leave the link in the description below. So if you like the game and what it looks like, feel free to pop over, get it and play it on your own. Or you can play it while I'm playing it if you already have it. Who knows? But yeah, so we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I need to do is move my face down as per the normal. We are here. Hopefully this is a good spot. We may have to move it later. Um, looking at the game right from the beginning, it does look like it has Discord and Twitter support, which is pretty cool. So what we're going to do is just jump right in with new. Um, Let's do the tutorial, because why not? Our cat will be named Momo. For colors, we always want to go with purple if it's a possibility, and it is. And we'll do a nice little mixed cat. I like that. So we're here, and we're loading into the earth. So right off the bat, I like the way it's designed. It reminds me very heavily of games such as uh, don't starve, don't starve together, things like that. I'll right off the bat can see that our face is not in the best position, so let's put it right here for now. Maybe that'll be fine. So welcome to Planet Elo 693. Use WASND to move around. Okay, nice little thing. While outside, keep your eye on the oxygen and suit power level at the top left of the screen. Got it right up here. You also need to eat. The bars at the top right of the screen show your health and hunger. Got it? Just like don't starve or any other kind of base building game like that. I feel like the game is very quiet. I did turn... No, it seems like everything's up fine. I feel like music is a little high, but it'll be fine. We zoom. I just want to make sure the sounds are coming through. There are some plants over there next to the base. Walk over and click left to pick them up. Alright, so... Very easily made game. You can tell right off the bat. I mean, there is some drift when you're walking. Like, I'm about to let go. Yeah, like... I wish you could see my fingers, but as I'm moving around, there definitely is some drift. Like you're, like there's lower gravity. It's a cool feature that they have added in. Use those plants to craft some food at a workbench. I'm assuming this is our workbench. Click, click. So this by itself reminds me a lot of... Um, man, I can't remember the name of games for some reason. I literally have an entire season of it, or a whole couple episodes of it, on my channel from a little further back. I'll probably remember it in a second, but for right the second I can't. So left click the food in your inventory bar to equip it, then right click to eat it. Oh, so equip, eat. I think we're good on food. One of the most important tools you will need to collect resources is a shovel. Use these items to use these items to craft one. So I'm assuming scrap metal and wood equals shovel. That's it. And we got it done. Cool. So nice work. Your base refills uh, suits oxygen and power. Go to the airlock and then click click it to use the door. Okay. Let's go in. Please go in. Thank you. Click. Okay, there we go. Bases uh, also have a limited supply of oxygen, but this one has air cleaner that keeps producing more. Cool. At nighttime, you will need to supply the biofuel generator with plants and wood to keep the thing running. Cool. And you can pick up and move base modules to arrange them however you want. Holding down right click on the bottom of the habitat module will pick it up. So let's get out of here. Grab the habitat module. Now go outside, equip the module and you just picked up and place it in an empty area. Okay, let's uh let's place it up here on the grass. I would like to break the grass and place it down, please. Takes a second to build. Once it's up, does it automatically connect? It does, that's cool. You can also drop items from your inventory on the ground. Try dropping this scrap by selecting it and then pressing Q. Finally, around the world, you'll find strange artifacts. You'll need to collect and process these and collect and process these in a research lab to unlock new tech upgrades. All right, so there definitely is a progression system here that seems to be very genuine. I like it a lot. This button opens up the tech upgrade menu and lets you see all the artifacts you've discovered. Okay, excellent, excellent. That's all for now. Good luck. Use the workbench to craft more. I got the basics of it. All right, so I guess our goal is just to continue to build up and have more by the end of the game. I don't know if there is any one specific objective. doesn't really seem like it. 
But it does seem like right now we can just kind of go off and collect. What is this? Is this diamonds? What is this? Ice. Okay. I'm assuming we're going to get them. We need a pickaxe probably to do that. So where's our pickaxe at? Doesn't really seem like we can make one right now. We need a smelter. So we just want to craft more food for right now, just to be safe. Go ahead and eat up. How dark does it get? So in games like Don't Starve, like I was mentioning earlier, it gets so dark you literally can't see. And wow, this game looks like it's following the same, the same, uh, same vibe. Let's close this, please. Get in here. I guess we can... How do we go about turning it on? That's the question. Is it dangerous when it's dark? That's another worry. So let's put in nothing because we don't have anything to put in there. All right, so tonight's just going to be a dark night for us. Flashlight? Oh, we do have a flashlight. Cool. I'm assuming we want to, we want to take out the tree. If that is a tree. No, that's called a blue shroom. Need different tools for this. Got you. I had to use the shovel. And here's the ore. Okay, so I'm assuming with this ore is where is what we're going to be putting into the smelter, and from there continue on. So if you've ever played any type of base building, start from scratch kind of game, right off the bat you have an understanding of what this this is. I'm not going to have to explain to you the process of going from ores to gold to iron and so on, like Minecraft or Terraria or again any base building game. I don't know a ton about this game. What I do know is that there is a lot of progression. Looking at the images that are popping up to my left right here on the Steam page, it looks like there is a lot of room to grow. You can actually have all kinds of stuff, have generators going on, you can have floodlights, you can have vehicles. I'm just looking at the things that are possible over here. It looks like there is a lot of room to grow and a lot of stuff to do for sure. Now, one thing I do want to make sure that I know is the fact that this game is early access. Currently, this game doesn't have 100% finished quality. It's not where it's going to be whenever it releases, but it is at a level where it's playable and it's enjoyable, honestly. This definitely seems like a game that I would go with or I would get if I was, if I knew that I didn't really have anything to play and I just wanted something to play while I was watching Netflix or streaming a movie or anything like this, this definitely seems like the kind of game that you want for those situations. So while I'm going around picking out these uh, little parts and seeing what we have around here, one thing I do want to make mention of, and maybe you've already noticed, but my voice should sound a little bit different in this video compared to others. With that, that's because I got a new mic. My previous microphone wasn't acting up, but it just wasn't giving me the quality that I wanted, and I had to do a lot of, a lot of fidgeting with it every single time I wanted to record. That's why my voice kind of changed in how it sounded every here and there. But hopefully, with this new mic setup and with everything that I'm slowly implementing into these videos and editing and so on, you'll be able to hear a bit of a difference and maybe the videos will be a bit more enjoyable on the audio side of things. So with that, we just found a nano chip. I think what we want to do is, first off, eat. Wait, why is the suit power offline? I don't know, but let's drop the seed, maybe. What else, what should we drop? We should drop this seed and keep this one. Yeah, because root plant seems better. I don't know why, but it just does. We have a box here. Whoa, I'm taking damage. I would like to find home, please. But I don't know where home is. All right, so we're on the star. I'm assuming we don't want to be there. We want to be in here. Close this. Oh, yeah, I forgot about heading home and yeah, we almost died. <laughs> that could have not been too good for us. All right, so let's just, I think we're good now. So let's head back out. I want to grab that box. That box is something that I was really interested in because maybe there's some cool stuff in it. What is this? Inventory full. But what's in the box? What's in the box? We're doing a loot box opening. That's what this is. Is it just a box? That's kind of lame. Let's eat up. We're just going to eat all of our stuff. Artifact, a strange yet oddly familiar object that should prob probably should research it. All right, well, we need a research binge then. 
I would like to get far enough that I have an idea of how the research stuff works, but I don't know if that's going to be if that's going to be truly possible. Making a smelter, I feel like is going to be a main priority of ours. And then from there, oh, research lab. Okay, so we need sheet metal or whatever that's called. I'm assuming it's called sheet metal. We want to put this here maybe? Here? 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 I was pressing the wrong buttons, but it's all right. It needs to be powered. Well then, let's uh, pick it up and place it over here instead. This will power it, right? That sure will. Sheet metal requires one ore. We need five of them, so that's four. Is this how long it takes to make it? That is incredibly slow. Or maybe, oh, never mind. That makes it pretty fast. We just have to make sure this is powered. All right, so while that's being made, Let's go off and collect a little bit more. Really quick, what did we need? What is this? Workbench? Did I just accidentally make a workbench? It seems as if I did. So I guess we take our second workbench and just put it down there for sim for just making it easier to find one, I guess. That was dumb on my part. We need two electronics and two scrap metal. We're good on scrap metal. We will be fine on electronics, or we'll be fine on metal in a second. And we are one electronic away. I don't really know where to find electronics at. I do know that we need to get back in here to restore our oxygen as fast as possible. So yeah, uh, just from what you've seen of the game, you're probably looking at it and saying, oh, it does look very simple. It doesn't really look like it has too much to it. But telling you just from playing it for the little bit of time I have been playing it, this is definitely a game that can hold your attention. Without a, without a doubt, this game can hold your attention, but at the same time, it's not so complex that you can't watch Netflix, or again, watch YouTube, or do something else. This is a game that is just detailed enough where you need to have your eyes on it, but not so detailed that you can't have fun with it. And I really like that. Like This is definitely a game that I don't think I'm gonna delete whenever I get done with this like I do some games. I think this is gonna be one of them that I probably keep and play around with a little bit. I actually enjoy this. The little cat character is cute. I like how they, they decided to go with that. It's not really my, my cup of tea, it's not my thing, but it, it's still cute nonetheless. So to make one more of these, we need three of these. To make three of these, we need one of those. We need three more sheet metal. So let's craft three and we need to go make three more sheet metal. So three more please, one, two, three. Back down here, are these already done? That's crazy, I did not expect that to be finished that fast. And craft one of those. All we need now, is this not done? Why not? This is power. Darn. All right, so what do we need to make the research table? We need five metal plates. We have one currently which means that we're gonna need four more. Okay, so now we just need to wait for these to finish and then we'll be able to make a research table. With the research table, I don't know what that does for us, but with the research table, something will happen. Close that, come up here, grab our stuff. Well, it's not done. One more, please. So, yeah, I'm just gonna continue to play this for a solid three, four more minutes. But I think if you're watching this, you definitely see the type of game this is. Maybe you just want to continue to watch to get an idea of what the research tables and everything do. But I, I'm telling you from my experience as a, as a gamer that there's probably not too much more to this game. This game looks like right now, again, it is early access. and I don't say that as a, as a negative on the game, but this game is early access. So with that, it's probably not going to be too complicated. It seems like everything is going to be fairly simple, pretty non-complex. You'll be able to figure it out. I feel like this is a game that maybe the tutorial wasn't even needed. If, if I could offer a criticism, I think my criticism would be that there is no need for a tutorial. I think what should happen is if, and when they continue to finish this game, I think they need to take out the tutorial completely and just let people figure it out. Some games are a little too simple for there to be a tutorial you know but let me know what you think if you're looking at this game or maybe if you're playing it and you're a part of the early access crew and the people that are 
playing this game right now and you think that the tutorial is very necessary, let me know. I, there might be people out there who have completely different opinions than I do when it comes to tutorials and games. But I feel like, in my opinion, a lot of games have a mindset or the developers have a mindset that there always has to be a tutorial. And I think some of the best games out there have zero tutorial. People look at Dark Souls as an example, but I kind of disagree with that because Dark Souls, if you look at the first little section, that's nothing but a, a huge tutorial. And you can't always rely on, you can't always rely on knowing everything right off the bat. But games like this, figuring out that I need a certain tool versus a different tool, that might be the fun in it. That might add a little bit of extra flavor to the game that other base building games don't have. It's possible that the creators are going for a more simplistic game that everyone can understand. And if that's the case, then I, can, I take back what I'm saying. I completely agree that this is a good way to do it. But if they're trying to make something that's going to be enjoyable to adults as well as children, probably should take out the tutorial. Again, I know I beat that horse to death, but that's the last time I'll say it. So we're going to probably end the video as soon as I come down here and grab the artifact just to see what it is. I'm curious what artifacts are in this game, how are they implemented and so on. Let's put a root in there and check out what we have. That gave us enough room for the wood. I don't know how we progress though. Progression does seem like it might be simple, but also not very obvious. Maybe once we have this researched, that will give us the... Once we have that item research, that will give us a boost in technology or something like that. And maybe that technology boost is what provides us with more information. I just realized we were out of power again, which means that we were about to start losing health. We do need to eat very bad. So let's make sure that we are doing that. I just realized that we're actually very low on food. Let's check here. We have plus five research points, artifact eight. So did that do anything for us? Oh, tech upgrades. Okay, the game mentioned that earlier and I just completely ignored it. So if you click tech upgrades right here, it looks like you can kind of start adding stuff. What is this? A con construction. Okay, so that'll, then it allows construction yard, habitat modules, air cleaner, and airlock. Cooking gives us more ways to make food. And the Mark II suit gives us, I'm assuming, an upgrade to our suit. So I'm not going to go into all of this, obviously, because this is just a quick Revelations reviews. If y'all really love this game and you want to see a deep dive into the game and you want to see gameplay of it, let me know. But based off of like the surface level stuff that we're seeing right here, my comments earlier that the progression may be limited, completely take that back. This looks like there's plenty of room to grow, plenty of tools to worry about making different flooring, power. Yeah, this definitely looks like a game that you could spend a lot of time focusing on and making sure that your base looks nice and everything looks good and that you have good defenses. I don't know if there are any hostile mobs in this game. I haven't seen any and I haven't heard any. I don't see anything that indicates it. I don't see swords or defense or anything like that. So I think this game is truly just a very peaceful, make sure you have food, make sure you have the stuff necessary to survive like oxygen. And I think you're good. So if you're looking for a creative Minecraft type game where you're not worried about survival, you're not worried about dying, as I say that I'm about to starve because I haven't found food, but if you're not worried about those kind of things and you just want to enjoy a game for its base level stuff, I think this might be the game that you're looking for. So with that guys, I want to say thank you so much for watching. It means a lot. As I'm saying this, you can watch my health bar in the top right slowly fade away into nothingness. So yeah, we'll actually get to see what death looks like in this game as well. But one last time, thank you guys so much for watching. It means a lot. I hope that y'all enjoyed the video. I hope that you enjoyed the new microphone and the new audio that comes from it. And I hope y'all have a wonderful day as we have our game progress saved and as we fade away in the rain, grave digger, when you dig my grave, dig it shallow so that I may fill the rain. Y'all have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next Revelations reviews or the next Warzone or the next any video that you watch. I'll see you next time. Peace out.